Good morning. We are trying the TikTok avocado toast with a grated hard boiled egg on top this morning. And we're doing it on sourdough. So here's my cheese grater. And then I just hard boiled some eggs. We're gonna use this hot sauce. And then I mashed up like an avocado and a half. filming a YouTube video but I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog I haven't really started it off but it's two o'clock now almost and I was just filming that so I could get it up for you guys but it's gonna be coming after this vlog so stay tuned for what it is and yeah I'm also drinking a Celsius I was drinking this to kind of get me ready to film I feel like Filming sit-down videos are so different than just filming a vlog. The weather in Florida right now is unreal. It is in the 40s today. And the low is 34 degrees. So that's what we're, we're going through right now. That's the type of weather that we have. Christian and I are probably going to go get sushi soon. So I'm going to put on a hoodie and a coat over top of it. I'm excited to vlog another weekend of my life. Sorry if you can hear Christian um, on his video game. Also want to say that the amount of times that I had to stop during my YouTube video that I was filming because of him, a little unreal. A little unreal. But anyways, I'm going to put my ring light away in back of the top of my closet. And then Christian and I are going to go get sushi for lunch, which I'm super excited about. And then I have to run to um, Williams-Sonoma because my coffee filter on my coffee machine, it has been beeping at me. Not beeping at me. It has been... I'm going to close the My coffee machine has been displaying a message every single time I turn it on that I need to change my coffee filter like water filter thing and I was gonna order it on Amazon but a lot of the reviews were saying that they were having difficulty with it so I just was like you know what let me just go straight to the source which is William Sonoma and I know that I can't mess it up so I'm gonna go there after lunch grab a water filter because I it's been displaying this message for a week I need to change it and I just can't believe I already had my coffee machine for three months but so I need to do that and I need to run to Ulta. I don't think I'm gonna do it today, but I need to get a new leave-in conditioner from Ulta. And then um, there was something else that I need to get. I can't remember, but I wrote it down. So let's get this vlog started. We just got home from lunch and we went to Park Ave and we went to the Williams Sonoma on Park Ave so I could get a new because these only last about three months and then your machine starts to it's been giving me this message every single morning and I always click remind me later it's like those software updates for your computer for your phone where you're like remind me later or remind me tomorrow I'm just always clicking remind so it's been giving me that message for about a week so i need to go pick one of these up
So we were out shopping at Lululemon on Park Ave and Christian does this funny thing. I'll insert a clip. But what he does is he always says that his name is different than what it is. So today's name was Chet. And um, I was looking at the leggings and we like separated when we were in the store and he started looking at the guy's stuff and I was looking at the girl's stuff. And I heard him behind me and I didn't want to turn around, but he was like, can I try this on? And she was like, what's the name? And he was like, Chet. But I just thought that was funny because he does it a lot. He used to do a lot more, but he doesn't do it as much now. But I just thought that was funny. Okay, it's a lot later in the day. It's about 7.45. And now we're about to cook dinner. We're just doing an easy Trader Joe's meal. The orange chicken and vegetable fried rice. I put the orange chicken in the air fryer, so I have that preheating right now. And then we're gonna watch some Euphoria. Just cleaned that mirror yesterday. That looks like that. Doesn't my purse on the counter look like a black cat? I keep looking over into the mirror and it looks like a cat. <laughs> That's sitting on the counter. Just got out of Ulta. I'll show you what I got when I get home, but now I'm gonna run to Target. These are the two things that I got from Ulta. I got this 10-in-1 primer, which is basically like a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant. I was drawn to it because of the price, and I was looking for a new leave-in conditioner slash heat protectant because I use It's a 10. So I heard that this is just like It's a 10, but at a lower price point. So I wanted to try it out. I'll let you guys know if it's good. I was looking on Ulta on the website looking for just heat protectants and I saw that this was super highly rated with like over 8,000 reviews and it has almost five stars. So I wanted to try this out. I got this. I also got this boar bristle brush to try and do a slick back bun. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little story time. I don't wear my hair slicked back. I don't like to wear my hair on top of my head. 
And I'm just gonna tell you how much like words can affect someone for basically the rest of their life. And I'm trying to be better about this, but a few years ago, I wore my hair in a bun on top of my head and it was at work at my old job at Carabas, a restaurant. So you have to wear your hair up. And my hair was really dirty and I wore it on top of my head and one of the kitchen guys said that it made my face look really long. So ever since then I've been just kind of like, oh my god, so I can't wear my hair like on top of my head or slicked back because it accentuates how long my face looks. If you remember a few vlogs ago, I started the vlog on a Friday night and I had my hair in a clip on top of my head. I just don't... <laughs> Just that's why I was super self-conscious about it because one comment stuck with me and basically my advice Don't let someone's opinion of the way that you look take away from how you view yourself or how you think about yourself So I'm trying to be better about that and sometimes that comment just pops back into my head when I style my hair and it kind of just affects me so just for everyone out there that's watching this, just keep that in mind when you decide to comment on someone or make a, a comment on the way that someone looks because that comment can just stick with them for years and make an impact on their life when they never felt that way about themselves. So just keep comments like that to yourself. Like I never thought that about myself when I wore my hair like that, I liked the way that it looked and it just stuck with me and I'm sometimes reminded about that comment. But anyways, I bought a brush. I'm gonna try a slicked back bun look. I wash my hair twice a week, so I thought it would be fun to try. I usually don't really slick back my hair. I kinda just wear it loosely. But I'm gonna try it and try to not let that comment from three or four years ago affect how I view myself right now and that's why I don't wear my hair in buns on top of my head or in tight buns because I just am reminded of that comment. But just gonna always remember, don't let someone's opinion or comment about the way that you look affect how you view yourself because how you view yourself is very important at the end of the day and no one should take that away from you, if that makes sense. I don't know, huge ramble that didn't need to happen, but. So that's my little Ulta haul. I'm washing the bed sheets and you guys, this is it. I wanted to update you guys. This is the pillow that I ended up keeping. The Buffy Cloud pillow, which I unboxed on camera a few vlogs ago. It is the most incredible pillow I have ever slept on. It truly feels like you're sleeping on a cloud. It's supportive, but still, I just don't know how to describe it. You guys, it's incredible. I... It took a long time to get here, a few months, to finally find the perfect pillow. And I'm so happy that I tried this pillow because it's honestly just, it's perfect. So, I'll link it down below just in case you're on the search for a pillow. I'm about to upload the footage from Christian's day in his life. By now you guys have already seen it, but I haven't even looked through any of the footage, so I have no idea what he filmed or what he did. And I'm really excited. It's the next video that I'm gonna post. And um, I'm kind of excited to, <laughs> to edit it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a little switch up of content for sure. He's always just a background guy. So I thought it'd be interesting <laughs> to have him film a day in his life. We'll see, I'm about to upload the footage, but then I'm gonna take a bath. So that's what's going on. I'm about to upload the footage. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> I look kind of tired. I just made some tea. I'm about to light a candle. My dad's the cutest. <laughs> I feel like he always 
for Christmas gets us all the girls in the family a candle with our initial on it. This is the one that he got me this year. I think he got it from Pottery Barn or William Sonoma. And it smells so good and it has an L on it. It's probably going to take me forever to burn it. Take a bath, drink my tea, maybe watch a YouTube video while I'm doing all those things. And then head to bed.